the thing about the thing about the Captain Zack Brology matchup in particular is that Brology does have Snake. His Snake is very good. He does have Ice Climbers. But as of now, Zack has Bayonetta, Palutena, and Daisy. Daisy slash Peach. Um, it is extremely tough. I assume for Ice Climbers versus Daisy, especially. It is going to be tough. Ooh, let's go. Ooh, that was a that was a whole moon. My man needs to pull up the other and the pants. Oh on, no! Come on, bro. Um, but I would I would think it's going to be tough versus Bayonetta, if only because the biggest the biggest thing about players that know how to play against the Ice Climbers is that they can separate them extremely well. Oh yeah, especially like Nana. At least I believe her <laughs> her AI in this game can be a little little questionable oh, at times. Not, it's not just you. It's not just you. It's a lot of people, bro. A lot of people know. See, look, we see right here, Zach extending the combo up Taking to the very top Nana with Nana. Out. Ooh. Oh my god, carrying her off the top. And now it's Sopo. This is this is what I was worried about, is that Ice Climbers, Ice Climbers are going to get separated, and then Sopo's just going to have to play for like 70% of the game. That's definitely a big deal, one of the detriment to this character, but even then, though, they still are pretty powerful. It's just, you got to wait for your hits. You can't overextend. You can't. You can't do it. Zach, of course, running, running this set right now. Or I'm sorry, running the stock, excuse me. Um, as best as can. Air drift. Oh my. Does get sent off stage once again. You're looking for the guns is Zach. Not able to get it though. Alright, 130 percent He is definitely able to be killed right now, but he is so doing his best, Ooh. but that side view was so well done. The back throw off stage once again, and here comes another edge ledge trap situation. Ooh, getting those nice air drives into stage while also dodging where Captain Zach's attack. Mm -hmm. Oh nice trades! Move. I tell you what, well done by Brawler G here to at least put himself in a position that when Nana comes back, he could potentially have an easier job of taking the stock off. And he's got great DI here. He's living at 170. Oh, is he dead? He's dead, dead. What Let's the go, hell? Sopo. Oh, there goes Sopo. Yeah, Sopo <laughs> taking the stock and dying right up, right there. I mean, this is good for Brawler G, if anything. If he, if, and only if, he's able to keep Nana around. Of course, yeah. Keeping Nana around is just a great advantage. Got two of you. <laughs> yeah, but so, but oh no, you're dead. Oh wait, neither of them are dead. Okay, I thought they were. I thought they were at the Why top of the Nana come down so much slower? I, I, well, Sopo used down air, and uh, Popo used yeah. down air. Excuse me, and Nana just didn't use down air instead. Oh, oh <laughs> okay, okay, Nana, okay. There goes Nana. Mm -hmm. There's an air. Nana does manage to get back to the stage as does Good. Popo. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. oh. You hate to see that happen. The grabbing, the throw invincibility, saving Zach from the punish right there. Well, Pyro. I'm looking forward to seeing how he capitalizes on this lead that he just suddenly got. Yeah, but Nana managed to get back as this Popo. Ah! Oh, she's dead. She's so dead. Nana got shot into oblivion she there. She is so <laughs> dead. Girl got lit up to the face real quick. Oh my god. All right, solid bullets. Side B is the only option that he can go for here, otherwise he's dead. So now Brawler G, obviously he was already thinking about the next stock being that he was so far off stage. Zach playing extremely evasively, looking to get the option that he needs to, to separate these uh, 61, 70 even. Definitely. With the two of them, it could definitely be death for some Yeah, yeah. It's, it's something. Oh, manages to get out of there and get the up air. Oh, Ooh. the commitment is possibly gonna cost him a lot here. Both are still getting hit. For that air dodge. Okay. Ooh, getting a nice back air in. He definitely has this lead here, but with Bayonetta, that damage racks up. I was about to say, I feel like Nana has way more percent than Soap than Popo right now. <laughs> definitely. Do they have different percents? Is it, is they it have shared? different percents. Yeah, it's, it's not shared. Great stuff for biology, but it's not shared. Huh? I did not know that. Yeah, you could do. You could. You could have. Can you have? Can you have Nana as a wall then? Just like. At one shield. point, at one point, that's exactly what happened. Brawler G had walked forward a little bit, and Nana walked forward for him. So what he did was that he used Nana to parry the side be coming out from Zack instead oh. of putting Popo in that position. So on the one hand, there are positions where you need to put Nana, you know, in that instance where she's gonna get hit or she's the potential to get hit, but. You have to do it to protect the player's character as opposed to, you know, Nana. Nana is obviously a humongous boon towards his character as a whole. But you don't want the player character to get you don't want the player character to get hit instead. Of course, and now we see that he's actually playing as Nana now, going for that little bit of a mix-up. 
Just a teeny, teeny bit. And going for that skin, that's kind of hard to do. Only a little bit. I think what you know, which one is which. Oh, you you're not dead. Whoa, 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 I just love how they use their moves. I think what's crazy is that so far, there have been a few combos that Zach has gone for. Oh, great response. Oh, but it was only what? Nana. At oh, what cost? No. At what cost, man? Oh, man. This is Ooh. crazy. Brawl G has been doing a ridiculously good job of getting out of uh, Bayonetta's combos. Like we and said, not we only that, but getting... Try, but do you think it's going now? I, I almost wonder. Like, because, like, so far, he has... Oh, Jesus! These tech reads! Sona is going real hard in, almost as a forewarning of Persona. Mm, Sopo, baby. It's not Sona. It's Sopo. But I got I got what you're doing. I got what you're doing. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Double up air once again. Goes for the side B, up tilt, into up air. Oh, there we go. And that is a JV3. Three. Three. A JV3. Going to game four. It's 1-1. One, one. It's 1-1. One, one. Is it? It's 1-1. One, one. Pretty sure it's 1-1. One, one. Pretty sure it's 1-1. I'm one, pretty one. sure it's 2-1. Two, one. No, Did, there was no. definitely a loss. Yeah, here comes the... D oh, boy! No, oh he, it's boy. definitely 2-1 right now. Because, it's 2-1? Because he lost first game to Bayonetta, then brought back twice. Brought back twice? Yeah, Three, last game, wasn't it? Two, Did he win? I feel like somebody in the front window. Is it really 2 0? What the fresh hell? What the fresh hell? I didn't even. Yeah, you're right, it is 2 0. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Wow, it's 2 0. Wow. But I tell you what, Daisy is ridiculous. Um, Daisy is a quick. A quick one. That was a low key. That was a low key deep, uh, desync right there. Going with the up air up smash at the same time. Ooh, even though Daisy's so crazy, he's definitely getting that percent and keeping it there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Daisy may be crazy, but Icy's a spicy baby. Watch, watch out, real quick. Oh, Ooh. bro, if he had, I don't. I, could he have decent there? I'm not I, sure. I wonder I if you had gone for a jab one two, would would Nana have reacted on the platform? I don't think so. She may have been too far. Yo, that Whoa. was sick. <laughs> that was sick. Using but having their own kinds of vegetables and having that eggplant there, they're really using that to their advantage. They're using that turnip. Look, I know they live in the tundra, but they know what to do with vegetables. That's they know. crazy. Still maintaining humongous advantage here. That up smash still not doing both characters survive. Ooh, he has a stitch. Oh, but using it, getting rid of the shield. Mm -hmm. Oh, but that did get rid of the main character there. Yeah, unfor unfortunately, Brawler was not able to get out of that situation. Instead, he will have another stock to work with. I had to dial it back a bit, but I think I just saw a second stitch after the first. I, you might have. You genuinely might have. Hopefully, that luck will aid him here as he's probably, at least at this rate, going to need it. Yeah, maybe so, but. This matchup has surprisingly not been working out for Captain Zack at all. I'm, I'm a little shocked here. He's starting, to, I think he's starting to get a grip. Nana dying off the bottom there is going to be a humongous boon for uh, Captain Zack here. We'll see what the Sopo can do. However, his Sopo has been putting in a little bit of work. Definitely, but also you got to remember that even though he's got Nana out of there, that the Daisy's still very much at death oh, percent. Oh, the up, the air dodge up so good. Manages to get past Daisy as well, but she's right back in there. So relentless. Keeping him right off stage where you want so Only thing you could do a side B. Only thing you could have done is side B, and that'll do the stock. Ooh. Zach taking the advantage right back. Now Brawlogy needs to work to get himself back into this game. Nair, Nair. Can that little neutral be there? Just get a slight bit more damage. Great Ooh. parry, and that'll take the stock. No percent taken by Brawl G, and obviously. Whoa! Oh, that's a bomb bomb. And whoa. got rid of it by just nearing. But it got rid of it got rid of Popo and Nana for a little bit. It did. It kind did. of put Zack in, in an advantage state. Wall space for the back airs. Looking for the options, obviously. Skirting in and out. Ooh, Ooh trying for the, to go for the grab there. Yes. Well done with the Nair once again. Popo still hairs. staying alive. <laughs> Luckily. Mm -hmm. Oh, but Nana not. Oh, this is not good. This is not a good look for both of them. 102% on Popo. I would assume there's about mm, 110, 120% on Nana, who is obviously near kill percent. Oh, that was such a risk. That was such a risk. Oh, Nana getting out of the way. But that'll possibly... Ooh, dot eyes. It was dot eyes. Dot eyes. So Man. Zach taking that game off the skin of his teeth. Oh, yeah. That bob -omb, I definitely would say, helped him there, getting them both at 
really quickly to kill percent for each of them. Not to yeah. mention it separated Popo and Nana long enough oh, to put yeah. himself back in advantage saying maybe perhaps the option that Brawler G went for wasn't necessarily the best, but because it had separated them and Brawler G kind of pushed himself into that situation even further, um, it may, I, I, I kind of I kind of figured in the moment it wasn't necessarily the best option for him to go for, but it didn't necessarily, it, it kind of set the tone for that stock in a way. It could have gone either way. It definitely could have. I think if there's just one good hit, like you saw that he was definitely going for a lot of up airs near the end there with uh, Icy's because if he would have gotten that, it could have been the set. It could have been. However, we now have a set. 2-1 advantage Brawler G. Ooh, going my favorite skin for Icy's right there. Still on match oh, point is Brawler G. He cannot afford to choke this game. Otherwise, there's no telling what will happen Three, in game five. Two, one, so going to Smash Bros. for this game four now. A very good. I, I think this is a good choice, if only because there's less there's less stage to work around, and you have more of a chance to like like cut down on these maneuverable options. Oh yeah, especially that middle platform definitely can be kind of fresh. Oh! <laughs> Disgusting. I'm just gonna let that clip speak for itself. It definitely does speak for itself. But Captain Zack speaking for himself, saying, "Excuse me." I'm in control. Here, get rid of your girlfriend. I'm the new one right now, sir. I hate to break it to you, but Nana's the one. <laughs> right now, Nana is the one. Nana's the one. You're right, but she she's playing reverse Bowser, bro. She's snatching the she's Ooh, snatching she the snatch oh. She's snatching weaves, <laughs> snatching crowns, and snatching stocks. Da Daisy taking that stock real fast. As you can see, though, he's in his element. He can definitely just take a stock like that. It's almost it's crazy how quick these are flying. Mm -hmm. Not committing to the grab option at the ledge right there. I mean, perhaps it was a little bit wide, but I'm not entirely sure. I can't really to, say. He tried to parry the down air there, but it just seemed to parry it at the wrong time. Because only, I gets think, the down Nana up there. Side B does confirm it to this. He does get the up air. He's bringing it back slowly, but surely. Oh, Ooh. trying to get that confirm and up tilt and up air. I like the positioning that he did for himself. Keeping himself in place with an air that in case Zach went for a... Oh, this is an ugly trade. Um, In, play, in case Zach went for... Yikes. Banana's still living. Banana's still living. Banana's oh. still living. He saved himself because of the fact that Nana was there, but the bear will take the stock instead. Oh, and there they go. Mr. Saturn on deck. Don't shield that. Up till not able to beat up the side beat. Yo, look Ooh, at those, those parries. parries. But not able to finish. Okay. Banana coming in clutch, getting that second hit in there. And not a bad percentage for Brawl G to be at, all things considered. 20. Uh, well, well, well. I don't know about this one, Chief. What you got? I want to let this yeah, Thank you. Yeah, now Brawler G has to play a little bit back. He doesn't want to force himself into a position too badly. He understood in that situation right there. The shield was a little low, so he went for it. Oh, air dodging at the last second out the last hit. Very interestingly done. Woo! Oh, was that a footstool? Did Nana footstool off of Daisy's head? Someone please clip that. I need to see that. I, yeah, I'd have to see that too. I I completely missed that. Oh, Ooh. Banana's gone. It's Sopo time. And instead, Ooh, Sopo's dead. Captain Zack cleaning it up so fast. Well done by him taking that game extremely quickly. This Daisy is a force to be reckoned with now. Definitely. With that, there's two smashers just taking out both of them. Just like that. that. Mm -hmm. Done. Ridiculously quick. So Zack bringing it back to a 2-2 set count. Obviously gonna stick with the Daisy pick. There's no reason to switch, and I don't think there's much of a reason for Gabe for Brawler G to switch either. If he would, it would have gone to the Snake. But you know, is it necessarily necessary? Not really. This is good experience to at least get. And he's been close every Ooh, single on. game. Back to Smashville. Very confident in the stage pick. Obviously, understanding that it wasn't the stage that lost him the game, but him himself. We'll get a nice twenty percent in. Mm -hmm. All right. Ooh, parrying the upbeat that I really didn't think could hit. <laughs> Oh my god, that almost spiked. That literally almost was the same ending to the first stock because it was game two, game four, excuse me. I'm going to be honest. Until last game, I didn't even know that there could spike. It could. It could. I learned that the hard way. Trust me. <laughs> now, unfortunately, Nana was down for a lot of those up airs, and he's getting, you know, he's getting these hits, but he's not getting these kills because Nana's just not there in time. Speaking of Nana not being there in time, unfortunately, he's getting, put, he's getting his face pushed in, and Nana's just not there. Luckily, he still has this major percent lead. Dude, I don't know. It's major percent lead, but look at where momentum is going. That's true. Momentum is definitely more important than just the numbers. Oh, that's a big percent deficit for Nana in particular. I think she's at about mm, 80. If I had to guess, that fair center cross stage. Up air won't confirm that here. That will definitely not confirm. But back air off the frame. Well, I can't say that's a frame trap. But back air off the air dodge trap, that's for sure. 
Okay. Great response with the um. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh. There goes Nana, but instead Popo's living. He's living. Oh, but it's my. only it's only one hit to kill him. Okay, maybe not that hit. And that's the one hit that you need. Oh, Ooh. never mind. Using an air dodge efficiently there. Great stuff by Happy Zach recognizing when he was going for the grab as well. Putting himself back into advantage state still. Oh, grab tech. Let's go. Oh, and there we go. There he gets off. He got a nice 7%, which, hey, yeah, like, not nothing to scoff at. It might not make a difference, but the thing the thing about Ice Climbers versus Peach in particular in the previous games was always that Peach had ridiculous movement that Ice Climbers could just not deal with easily. And we're seeing that even now in Ultimate. It's, whoa! Those desyncs there just doing one up smash after the other. So much not pressure. Not letting go of pressure. No, he's not. He can't. He can't afford to. It's only 28% on Pete on Daisy right now. Yeah. But you literally... Oh, yeah. That's going to hurt. Yeah, there's so many things that I just forgot. Icy's hand with that up, uppy hitbox. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Grabbing the turnip for himself. Maybe and obviously you want to do that. Turnip is such a great projectile in this game. Um... But right now, Zach is just outright oppressing and pushing into the corner of this, this Icy's. Brawlogy really has to do a job here of like finding a way in and keeping that advantage for a longer time than Zach can get it back. And Zach is just not letting him. He's just, no, yeah, he's just staying on stage and living. That'll be a stock. Oh, that's... Ooh, that'll no. be not a... Yeah, oh, that'll be a stock. Go. There it goes. Okay, 84% on Captain Zach here. Relatively decent amount, but... Getting a little greedy, trying to take it out so he just feel that comfort of having a one-to-one. But it's so it's so hard to get a stock by oh lord even if you get the parry it's not good enough. If you get the F smash it's not good enough. Zach just outright outplaying him now. This is ridiculous. Oh, oh Nana, Nana extending oh, the, the reverse three O comes through with the two stock domination oh, from Captain Zach. Well done to him taking out Brawler G in a game five set.